Happy Friday to you guys. Um, I'm going to share an article with you. Here's here's something I want you guys to really think about. Many people through, you know, because I've been in this thing 11 years. Many of you have been in a long time. Now people are slowly on the fear of losing their jobs. I know my personal job is getting very slow on hours right now because I'm, I'm hourly, not salary with what I do. So a lot of things are slowing down. I've, I've received emails and respondents from you guys. Some of you are concerned about your jobs due to the slowness of the economy and so forth. So again, the original question, why has this taken so long? Why is everything, why are we waiting forever? Um, guys, I want you to think about that carefully. God's, this is all, God's in control, number one. The, it, this is his perfect timing. He knew these difficult, challenging times would be coming. So he has this, notice how, notice how God has shown me things prophetically and God put me in front of you guys to share things with you that I've noticed and that I pieced together prophetically to reach out and help you guys. Look at God's timing. Look at how perfect it is. That's why God has waited until now to bring this forth because of this critical time period that we're in. This, this is the most needed time because due to economic conditions for this type of event. So I just wanted to share this with you. Now, I have an article I'm going to share with you. Uh, Trump may declare kind of like a state of emergency today around 3 p.m. Eastern time, which would, which would be about... Uh, I. I don't, either way around 12 to 1 12 to 1 mountain time but anyway so if he does declare that state of emergency see at 3 p.m eastern time what that's going to do guys is um that will that will actually plummet the stock markets and there's a very good chance the dow is going to go down to 20,000 points at that time so anyway guys there you go god bless you guys have a great day Trump plans to declare national emergency over coronavirus pandemic. President Trump plans to declare national emergency over the coronavirus pandemic. Administration officials told NBC News the declaration would free up financial resources to assist Americans infected by the outbreak. The president has scheduled a 3 p.m. Eastern Time news conference Friday at the White House. The conference is set to occur shortly after Trump is scheduled to meet with White House with majority laboratory company executives about the response to the coronavirus outbreak a white house spokesman declined to comment when asked about the plan the senate's top democrat uh, chuck schumer of new york cautiously voiced support for a declaration provided trump doesn't overstep his authority or indulge his autocratic tendencies trump's emergency designation is expected to fall under the stafford act which allows for two types of presidential declarations the first is an emergency, which is what Trump is expected to declare. The second is a major disaster, which gives emergency management even more access to resources. Both designations place FEMA in charge of what happens. French, French President Emmanuel Macron said Friday that he, Trump, and the rest of the leaders of the group, set, the, the G7 economic giant nations, have agreed to organize an extraordinary leaders summit by video conference on Monday. We will coordinate research efforts in a vaccine and treatments and work on an economic financial response, Macron announced in a tweet. The announcement of U.S. national emergency would come just a day after Trump said he was not ready to make such a declaration. We have a very strong emergency powers under the Stafford Act, and we are. We have it. I mean, I have it memorized practically as, the pow as to the powers in the act. If I need to do something, I'll do it, Trump said in an Oval Office meeting with Ireland's Prime Minister, Leo Varadkar. I have the right to do a lot of things that people don't even know about. In an emergency declaration also would put to rest weeks of debate within the White House where different factions of Trump's top aides disagreed about whether the Stafford Act declaration is necessary. Those opposed to making the declaration which had included Trump himself, worried that it would cause financial markets to panic. They also feared the political fallout if it appeared Trump was sending the opposite message about the coronavirus, namely that it is an emergency from the one that he had consistently delivered so far. Trump has claimed that coronavirus is no more dangerous than the common flu and that it will likely disappear quickly without a significant impact on the American life. Health officials say neither of these statements is accurate. 
New York mayor declared a state of emergency in the city on Thursday. New York governor on the same day banned gatherings of 500 or more in the state for the feasible future. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin told CNBC earlier Friday that the White House and Congress are nearing a deal that would provide a stimulus to the U.S. economy amid the coronavirus outbreak. I think we're very close to getting this done, Mnuchin said in a Squawk on the Street interview. The president is absolutely committed that this will be an entire government effort, that we'll be working with the White House and Senate. As of Friday, we are more than 135,000 known cases of coronavirus globally, including 5,000 deaths according to the data by John Hopkins University. In the United States, there are about 1,700 known cases with at least 40 deaths according to John Hopkins. An earlier version misstated that the mayor declared an emergency in New York. It was Thursday. The end.